consider the University of Maine, for instance, um, as COVID-19 cases surged throughout the state, the university managed to keep the virus at bay on its campuses. How? The answer lies in a science-based, multifaceted approach, a model some might call Swiss cheese. Uh, high vaccination rates, uh, robust uh, testing, uh, wastewater analysis, and an indoor masking policy were among the key factors in their success. And the university enforced a vaccine mandate, conducted weekly testing for unvaccinated individuals, and required proof of vaccination or negative tests for large gatherings. Proactive measures and high compliance among students and faculty played a significant role in controlling the virus spread. On the other hand, Duke University faced a COVID-19 outbreak linked to fraternity parties leading to a week-long lockdown for about 6,000 undergraduate students uh, residing on campus. Over 180 students were isolated and 200 were in quarantine. The university allowed students to leave their residences for essential activities only, implementing virtual learning. Violations could result in severe consequences, including suspension or withdrawal from the university. Meanwhile, the shift to remote learning has provided a safe haven for some sexual assault survivors. The pandemic has highlighted the shortcomings of universities in prioritizing survivors' safety and has shown that for some, being away from campus has been a relief. The shift to online classes has also enabled survivors to be closer to their support networks such as family. In summary, college campuses are more than just places of learning. They're microcosms of society facing the same challenges and issues as the rest of the world. From pandemic control measures at the University of Maine and Duke University to the shift towards online learning providing a safer environment for some students, these campuses are navigating complex issues, um, shaping not just the future of education, but the future of their students' lives as well. These are the stories of our colleges today, a testament to their adaptability, resilience, and commitment to the welfare of their students. As they grapple with these challenges, they continue to educate, innovate, and inspire. Indeed, what's happening on college campuses across the country is more than academic. It's a reflection of our changing world.